Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about another plant poison which is Semicarpus anacardium. In my previous videos, I've discussed about three plant poisons, Abris precatorius, Calotropis and Ricinus communis. So today I'm discussing Semicarpus anacardium. This plant is commonly known as marking nut tree. I'll be discussing about introduction to what uh, uh, about this plant, then the active principle, sign and symptoms, fatal dose, post-mortem findings and medical legal aspect. So before starting all this, I would like you all to please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it as much as you can. So first introduction. Semicarpus anacardium is also known as marking nut tree as I have told already before. It is also called bhilava or phobi nut tree or varnish tree. Now it is native to India and it is in India it is found uh, on the out. So semicarpus anacardium it is also called marking nut. Now why it is called marking nut? It is called marking nut because, because it is used by washermen or people working in laundries to mark on clothes as it has a water insoluble it gives a water insoluble mark to the cloth so it is called marking nut. So uh, this basically Semicarpus anacardium is used for inscribing identification number on the cloth because it because its mark does not get dissolved in water. So if we talk about the seed, the seed of marking nut is about 1 inch long or 25 millimeters long. The shape is ovoid, smooth, lustrous. Now the shape can also be cone or heart shape. I'll be showing you the picture. Uh, the seed has a very thick pericarp. As you can see, the pericarp, pericarp is the outer covering of the seed. So it is very thick and inside this is the irritant juice that causes the uh, poisoning. So basically, uh, the juice is acrid and it is oily in texture. It is brown in color, but it changes its color when it is exposed to the air. So it becomes black after it is exposed to the air. Initially, it is brown in color. So you can see that uh, the shape of the um, marking nut is somehow hard shape. So uh, if we talk about the active principles, then there are two main active principles. First is bhilavanol. Now, uh, as I have said that the plant is also known as bhilava. So, the bhilavanol active principle name comes from the common name of the plant. And other is semicarpol, which is again coming from semicarpus. Now, talking about the sign and symptoms when a person uh, uh, has the uh, uh, has semicarpus anacardium poisoning. Now, if we talk about the external application. If the uh, juice is applied externally on the skin, then it produces a dark colored lesion which, uh, which looks just like a bruise. So it can be used, the juice can be used to produce artificial bruise. Now, uh, also the eruption of the neighboring, uh, neighboring skin might occur where, whichever comes in contact with the juice. Now, obviously there will be irritation and itching. Whenever the juice touches the skin, there will be painful blisters might be formed uh, which contain acrid serum and later an ulcer may also be produced. Now if we talk about ingestion, if the juice is, in uh, is ingested into the body then, if we, uh, then the uh, gastrointestinal tract, what we see there is that there are blisters formed on the throat throat sorry then severe git irritations can be seen uh, can be seen along with vomiting and diarrhea now then cyanosis and hypotension are some of the other symptoms and reflexes might be absent and delirium coma death all these are symptoms of cent uh, central nervous system so these are all the signs and symptoms if there is poisoning from bilawa now, if we talk about the fatal dose, fatal dose is 5 to 10 grams 
or uh, if seeds are taken then 5 to 8 seeds are considered to be fatal if we talk about fatal period then it ranges from 12 hour to 24 hour time period post-mortem findings now bruises can be found bruises like lesions with small small blisters over them may be seen near the edges of the mouth or lips or even throat so there are bruises or blisters seen around mouth lips throat then in stomach the stomach is congested or inflamed inflammation of stomach might have occurred or congestion of stomach may have occurred then liver if we talk about liver then there can be some degenerative changes seen in the liver and other organs are also found to be congested now medical legal aspects accidental poisoning may result from due to the uh, administration of juices uh, that comes out from the pericard then for criminal abortion i wanted to write abortion by mistake so for criminal abortion purposes juices may be it may be applied on the abortion stick then uh, it may also be used by malingerers to produce conjunctivitis or in order to prove a false assault claim then juice might also be thrown on the face in order to produce injury also homicidal and suicidal cases of poisoning through by using semicarpus is very rare so this was all thank you for watching this video please share it with your friends subscribe to my channel like this video Thank you.